Hi, I'm Mundy. I'm down here in Kilkenny in the Loretta Secondary School as part of Ireland's favourite folk song, which will be on RTE this year. Um, the girls here in the secondary school have composed a song this morning with Luan Parle, and it's rather amazing. Um, I think they only had three hours to do it. So um, it's great to be involved, and um, I'm a big fan of folk music. It's a big part of what I do. So uh, tune in, and uh, thank you. Which folk songs and artists have influenced your own songwriting the most? Um, the Pogues, one of their first albums, Rome Sodomy and The Lash, is a, is a big uh, favourite album of mine, but uh, it's one of the first albums I would have heard when I was a young lad. Um, I like a lot of, I suppose, Christy Moore and Jim McCann, Furies, the Dubliners, like when I was growing up on the guitar, I grew up in a Pogue, so you get asked to sing a lot of these songs, so... Um, you know, and the Water Boys, a lot of a lot of folk music would have gone in through a lot of that stuff, so that, that's where it comes from for me. And did these influences have an impact on your career? Yeah, probably more so lately. I'm channeling the folk uh, area, um, probably because I'm getting older and stuff. But um, I've always loved the more like I, I grew up with Bob Dylan and Neil Young and stuff, which is funny because they're probably influenced by. Irish and Scottish folk music, so I'm kind of re-digesting what they've taken out of the songbook, except it's travel across the water, and so now I'm just going back to the source, and um, yeah, that's uh, kind of, I don't know if I answered that right, but yeah. What role does storytelling have in these Irish folk songs? I was thinking about a song called Spansel Hill on the way down in the car, and I actually used to be into it ponies when I was a kid and I actually went to this particular, it's one of the oldest horse fairs in Ireland and um, I used to be a skivvy in a kind of a stables and one of my favourite ponies was being sold when I was about a day off school to go to the fair and I did my best to try not to sell it. <laughs> yeah. um, and, but, but I still remember, I remember the song so well after being there as a kid and um, you know it's a uh, it sets the scene, there's all these people from all over the country there and there's wheeling and dealing and uh, it's just a t you know, time and a place and it's just a, it really, it's like a photograph, it really is like a photograph, but that's what it, probably what the uh, folk song was, is, to, is so the memory never got lost towards, there was no digital back then, so there'll be no folk songs if, you know, there probably won't be any folk songs if we keep going the way we are. Hi, my name is Luan Parl and I'm here at the Loretto Secondary School in Kilkenny and I'm doing a songwriting workshop with the students as part of RTE's Ireland's Favourite Folk Song and also having a chat with Mundy about all things folk. and we go to Loretta Secondary School in Kilkenny. Today we wrote our own song uh, called Live in the Moment. Um, so since it was all about folk songs, we wanted to write a song that really told a story. So we decided to write a song about social media and how it affects us as teenagers, because it's obviously such a topical thing. So um, we spent lots of time and we're really proud of it. And we're really grateful to Luan and Imro and everyone for helping us make it happen. Mundy come and he performed a few songs with for us and we got to ask him loads of questions and it was really interesting and um, we just like to give a big thank you to him for coming and to Luan Parle and to our music teachers Miss Mara and Miss Campbell for such a brilliant experience.
So the students picked uh, a very topical theme, um, it's all about the pressures of social media and it's called Live in the Moment and it's an amazing song, they're all so talented, beautiful voices, incredible musicians and it's been a really wonderful day and I've enjoyed it immensely.